I think I should really quit. I think it's not a fucking long term. I mean, this business isn't for me. You see comics here. You know, if this ever becomes a job, I'll quit. Yeah. See you in 16 years when it's all you know. Comedy's like a drug for me. You know, comedy is my drug. The stage is my drug. Because you get into it and fucking get that initial rush from the audience and you're like, fuck yeah, this is what I want, man. And then, then it turns out your whole social circle is just other people. You dish all your old friends. You know, just hang out with your drug friends. That stage thing, that's all you know. And you just keep doing it to you. Don't want to do it anymore. And you, but you have to do it. It's all you know. I swear you'll never do it again after a while. And then you come around and fucking dealer doesn't even want to give you drugs anymore because you're fucking sloppy at it. You're losing control. I don't want to do that drug anymore. I feel bad for you. You end up fucking, then you notice that the baby's dead in the crib or however it's going to sleep. If I could ever word that bit out, if I took the time, I'd be a strong bit, but I... I have no dedication to my art form or you as an audience. I don't want to be called a nihilist because that means I've given up hope completely. I hope sometime I fucking do some dose that makes me go, oh, everything is great. But, you know, Dylan, pour more booze down your head, fucking rummy. <laughs> Jesus died for your sins. I do it for your mere entertainment dollar. Isn't that far more admirable? Where's my fucking necklace? Where are you? I'm your Jesus. What the fuck did Jesus ever do for you? Did he ever take the edge off a long work week? Did you ever go to see Jesus on Friday night after working 45 hours at Banana Republic? And you scramble back and you're like, you know, oh, I got my paycheck. I'm going to go home and you go through my Bible and rummage through it to see what crazy antics that slapstick Jesus is up to now. It's Friday. It's my Friday. You've done it again, you crazy motherfucker. You make it all worthwhile. I'm pouring fucking booze down my head so I can repeat this shit into a microphone with some kind of... Like I care. For you. I don't want to be drunk. I want to be asleep. I slept in two days and fucking Howard Stern and Opie and Anthony. And I did them both. Because you fucking team players, fuck him, yeah, fuck no They don't care about it. <laughs> well, why would you... Why would you why wouldn't Jesus die for your sins? What is that? Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah! yeah. Oh, adrenaline! Oh, adrenaline! Ooh. It has nothing to do with Jesus. I live in Washington Heights. I wear this bracelet. I call it the Dominican Republic discount. This is what it's called. I wear it. You speak Spanish, you wear the bracelet, you get the discount. Oh, give I the have fuck! Weekend, but... <laughs> You've given a lot of speeches at weddings, haven't you? <laughs> You had some control right there. You had, all right, I just I just want to say this about Cynthia. Yeah. I know it wasn't my toast, but I didn't like the toast that was just given. So. Who died for your sins? What kind of a plan is that? Are you looking at these people, Jesus? Their sins are the only interesting thing about these dreary cocksuckers. That's what makes you alive. That's what makes you fantastic. Those are your best stories for your sins. You tell me a story right now about what a good Christian guy you are and how that good book has given you the flowery love of Jesus and it shines out of every hole in my squash when I wake up on the pillow. And you tell me a story about that one time you kick fucked a girl with cerebral palsy. And we'll see who draws a crowd. Nobody's listening to you. Even your boring savior on a stick and have to leave right now. Hang on. I, I, no, I pray for you too, but I, I really want to hear. I'll go. I'll be back. Start over. Start over. You did what? Was she into that? I mean, was it against her will? Or did she want you to? What kind of industrial lubricant does one use for such a project? Died for this? These stories are fascinating. Start up my show. I'd die for your sins too if I could come back in three days and go, this fuck away. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I'm a dog. It didn't hurt at all. Orgasm every nail pound. Imagine. Wow. Alright, so we can't wait to leave now? I'm gonna do my closer right now. I tried to make a false segue from the fucking child molestation into this. This crowd's too good. I got this thing. It's a, like a flyer, but it was a card that was the thing. <laughs> Every time I do this bit, I try to describe it. I don't have a description. It was a fucking long. Laminate. It wasn't laminate though, but I always stutter like it matters. Pamphlet. It wasn't a pamphlet. It was like better than that. <laughs> but it had a picture. It was an anti-abortion thing where it had a picture of the dead fetus. You know how the anti-abortion people, they get a picture of an aborted fetus and they put it on a placard and they put, This is what abortion does! Look at it! As though that's supposed to scare you away from abortion because it's disgusting. As though live childbirth were really appetizing to look at when that fucking monster is ripping out of you. Yeah! Covered in blood and mucus and sputum is flying everywhere. Your, 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 your husband's vomiting through a surgical mask. And everyone's screaming and there's a horror. And you're fucking, and you're snatching an asshole or torn into one big septic manhole. That picture I'd like to frame and put above the piano. That's lovely. Put this little freeze dried fella on the flyer. All peaceful looking. Horrible. So they put these things, they're spreading them around under all the windshields in a park a lot. And I always, anytime I see an abortion picture, my wife and I had an abortion years ago, and we don't know what happened to it after. So I always look. <laughs> the pictures is there an Olin Mills outside by the dumpster? Gee, come on, he still looks like a winner. I know he's